Okay, I'm gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna do some soldering. I'm gonna show you the techniques I use to uh, to solder the PC board uh, ties to the rail. Uh, I'm gonna start with using the acid base flux, uh, and we'll do some solder joints with the acid base flux, and then I'll do some solder joints using the, uh, the super safe flux. Uh, to apply the flux, I like to use these little micro applicator brushes. Uh, you can get these pretty well anywhere, hobby shops. Uh, most carry them in uh, craft stores. Uh, they're nice because it puts on a very small amount of flux, and that's quite important. You don't need a lot of it. Uh, if you get flux all over the place, uh, you got a big job cleaning it off. So the trick is to use just a little bit, and I'll show you how much we use when, uh, when we uh, do the solder joint here. So I've gathered up a little bit of flux on the tip. Um, just, just moisten the tip a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit on here and a little bit on the back. Same thing here, same thing there. And you see how small of an amount I used on there. It was just enough to dampen it. Um, like I explained before, the, uh, the flux, what it's doing is it's cleaning the rail. It's removing all the oil and residue. Um, and preparing the surface for the solder. And that's what the acid does a good job of that. I'm gonna get ready to solder. Now I'm gonna check my tip, make sure it's nice and shiny, which it's not. I could use a little bit of a cleanup on there. So I'll just do as I did before. Clean off any of the carbon that's on the tip. A little ball of solder on the tip. Dip it into the flux a bit. One more quick cleaning. Okay, the technique I use when I solder, uh, I like to heat the base of the rail. So um, I actually will put the tip between the base of the rail and the PC board tie. And I leave it there for about a second until the, uh, until the flux liquefies. Then I'm going to touch the solder onto the tip of the iron. The solder is going to flow down the tip and it'll go anywhere that the flux is. It's just going to follow that flux. And in, in fact, what it'll do, it's going to wick right underneath that rail and it'll, the solder will show up on the other side. Now let me just do a, a solder joint here. So I'm going to put that down and you can see that that flux almost immediately liquefied. And that's good. That's the, uh, the state you want. I'm going to put a little bit of solder onto the, onto the tip. And I'm holding it for a few seconds. Now you can see it flowing. I'm just going to put that on there, hold the rail down with the tip. Maybe a little bit of solder on the back. Let it freeze. There's a nice clear solder joint. Okay, so let's let's do it again. I'm going to do the next uh, the next solder joint. This one I fluxed uh, a little bit earlier. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to get the tip down between the rail and the tie, right in there like that. Let it heat for a second. Touch the solder to the tip. And I'm just holding it there. And as you can see how it's moving, it's flowing. Look at that. Perfect solder joint. Let's do it again. Um, I'm going to skip these two. I'll come back to that in a second. I'm going to put a solder joint right in here. So I'm going to grab my flux. A little bit of flux on both sides. Like I mentioned before, wherever you put the flux, the solder is going to follow. Touch it on the tip. Move it up onto the base, hold the rail down, a little bit of solder back here, let it freeze. And again, let's do these last two. Some flux, a little bit on both sides. Uh, put the solder in place, tip in place, touch it to the tip, get it flowing. Wait for a few seconds. You can see it kind of wicking down to the other side. Now I'm going to touch a little bit on the back. Let it freeze. Let's do one more down here. Maybe I can turn this so we can get a better shot of it. What I want to be able to show you is how the solder will wick underneath the rail and actually flow over to the other side. If I can do this, I'll block my shot here. Yeah, that should work. Touch it on the tip. Up onto the rail, hold it. You can start seeing start seeing the solder coming out the other side. It's actually hot enough heat now. I can solder on this side without even touching the iron on that side. Take it away. Let it freeze. There's some nice clean solder joints. I can actually pull this 
over the fixture, and we can have a look at that solder joint. Right there. There, you see those nice clean solder joints. And by holding the tip, holding the iron on the joint after I've applied the solder, it really liquefies, and it, that's what makes an invisible solder joint. It completely disappears. When you paint that track, these solder joints completely disappear. You can see where it's uh, it's actually crawled over onto the other side. So those are nice clean, nice clean, nice strong solder joints.